In this review, I'm going to go over in great detail this brand new model from Kenwood. This is a model DNN 770 HD. This is the flagship in the Kenwood non Exelon line, Kenwood lineup of GPS in dash receivers. This is the newer model, which they just unveiled their Wi Fi enabled products. So there's going to be a lot to cover. I've already got this unit up and running, and after I give you the overall impression of the outside and what's included, then I'm going to sit down, let this thing go through its little demo mode so you can see it in action visually, and I'm going to be in the background going over all the main key points of this unit, everything that's great about it, everything that I think could be a little bit better or, or improved, because I try to be honest and truthful with you, because I'm not biased one way or the other. If you do or don't get this unit, it really doesn't make a difference to me. I just provide the service, and I tell you the facts, what it is, what it isn't, and that's what I do. So, there's your front. Trim ring, the trim ring, sorry, has already been installed. It's clicked on. Right down here on the bottom, there's a micro SD slot. On the left, you can see that there's three flush mount buttons, which are variable color. They're changing as, as we're speaking. And you have this rotor ring coder knob, which you could turn, push in as well. And the rest of the stuff is pretty much operated by the touchscreen. Nothing new there. Over here, you have an oversized trim ring, which you can use and Dremel it out, make it any size you need it to be for those custom installations. There's your remote control. Whoa. Lots of buttons there. This here is included, and this one here is, it's a nice feature that this is included. I like that. Microphone built in because this unit is so very reliant upon Bluetooth and, and just Android, cell phones, Blackberries, iPhones, whatever phones. I mean, this thing is really like the mecca in all about that. Plus, this Wi-Fi, which is crazy. Um, new for this year was Kenwood. They had this new two-pin plug. Seems kind of reminiscent of their sister company, JVC, which utilizes plugs like this. And I really like the fact that they do this because and then a lot of times they used to have these plugs hardwired onto the receiver and if you had to remove it, upgrade something, change something, you had to cut the wires just to remove the unit and put it back. So that's a cool thing. We like that. Aside from that, the size, the dimensions, you know, four inches in height, four and a quarter inch in width, four and a half inch in depth, nothing new and exciting really going on there. They do include this sleeve, which is a very nice feature. Clicks in extremely well onto the front fascia plastic piece, which is approximately a quarter inch in diameter. Looks nice. It's a flat satin color. The head unit, of course, is in a super black gloss finish. And the back of this unit is identical to the um, DNX 570 HD, which, if you're interested, the step-down piece with the 6.1-inch screen, the, um, the 570, we've just did the uh, review on that. And the back of that unit is like a mirror image of this unit right here. Honestly, mirror, except for one thing which is this plug right here, which is for the dedicated Wi-Fi receiver. But since this is the one and only review that I'm doing for the 770, I'm going to go through it anyway. There's your antenna input. Over here, you got three sets of RCA preamp outputs, front, rear, and dedicated subwoofer, all stereo outputs. There's no mono sub output, which is a good thing. And then I'm going to get into detail on the rest of these plugs, but I want to put this camera down so it's a little All more right, clear. so back at it. Like I was mentioning, this one here is for the Wi-Fi enabled tuner, which... I don't know if it's going to be a very hot seller. This guy here is a 3-foot USB cord for the optional iPod, of course. Up a little, back a little right there. Okay, this guy right here, interesting enough, interestingly enough, 16-pin standard Kenwood car stereo harness. This is no different than the same harness that they use in their basic entry-level CD receiver stereo, believe it or not, folks. Weird. Very weird. And also very weird is that the plug is actually upside down. When I first went to plug this in, I thought the radio was in upside down. I actually realized that the plug on the back of the chassis is upside down. But, hey, whatever. It is what it is. But if you need to replace the harness, easy enough to do. These are, you know, dime a dozen. You don't have to go out and some, get some crazy expensive harness. That's cool. Now, over here, you have plugs for the Maestro. And that's basically set up for expandability into cars that are set up with sync type functions where your climate control, your heated seats, all your climate settings, all that kind of stuff is all built into your existing car stereo. The Identalink Maestro module, if you were utilizing one of those, that interface, of course, 
paired with the proper firmware, you can install right into here, directly connect it through CAN bus in your car, communicate 100% digitally. Super cool stuff, so that's nice. Four pin plug, that's the same plug I showed you previously for the reverse and the parking brake input. Brushless fan, GPS antenna, this here is your dedicated camera input. This here is your slave RCA video output, so if you were heading a roof flip down monitor, headrest screens, whatever screens, right there. Down here we have a plug for the Sirius satellite radio, uh, or Sirius XM I should say, since they're a merged company, Sirius XM would be the proper term for the, for the product now. V200 tuner plugs directly into here. One plug, one antenna, straightforward installation. Um, over here we have the AV audio output, and over here these are the plugs for the slave auxiliary AV input and for the iPod. Simple enough. So nothing really too crazy going on back here but everything that you're going to need to use to install this unit either as it sits or expanded with a full channel, four channel highs and two channel or one channel subwoofer system amplified the works. This thing's got it all so we're looking good so far. Let's get into the rest of this review. Alright so I'm going to let this unit just do its little demo mode and I'm th so thankful for these demo modes because they make my life so much easier. I really like that. Let me just get it as sharp as I can before I continue. I want to do the very best I can for you guys as always. I take good pride in my work. There's a lot to cover here. So we're looking at this unit. Wow. You know what, I'm going to kind of get a little off topic because it's impossible for me to go along with the, uh, the demo mode that Kenwood's um, going with as far as the ideas that I'm going to have in my own head. So I'm just going to outline some of the facts in, the, in my own way. In the meantime, feel free to watch the, 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 um, the screen and the demo that Kenwood was so kind enough to uh, create for us. I'm going to tell you the stuff that I think is important. time just watch what they're talking about I have my own notes my own stuff that I find to be the important key points that I would want to know about should I would if I was interested in going out and purchasing one of these units myself I think that's only right that I should give you the same stuff that I would want to have so the home screen offers four primary categories for social media search main source and apps Okay, so you get quick app search access to the web, the email, weather, calendar, and all kinds of sound sources right from the stereo, including CDs, DVD, HD radio broadcasts, which are built into it. You got Bluetooth streaming audio from your phone, no matter what phone it may be, as long as it's got Bluetooth enabled uh, service on it, you're good. You got built-in music apps like Orpio, YouTube, and iHeartRadio, with the option of the Sirius Radio, which I showed you in the back of the unit, the, the optional plug-in, I should say. Um, you can pull up your Facebook, Twitter accounts, one finger to learn what your friends are up to, and you can uh, use your voice to do a cross-platform search for music. Yes, you can actually use your voice with the supplied microphone. So, I mean, I just brushed on this unit and already this, this stuff is getting crazy. So, in order to do that, just so you know, you simply say the name of an artist and the receiver will search across all your connected sources, all of them, like thumb drives, iPods, cloud-based music account, which you have to enable, of course, for what's available, saving you the hassle of looking through all your devices for that one special song that you may have in your mind that you have got to hear for whatever reason at that moment. Um, you can have your emails and status updates read right to you. Text-to-speech capability reads arriving emails aloud to you so you can concentrate on driving instead of looking at the monitor. Super safety, cool feature. Uh, also read status updates on Facebook, Twitter, and RSS feeds you are subscribed to. And as well as that, your calendar events. An internet connection is required to use text-to-speech functions. Um, also, on that same note, in order to use the Wi-Fi connectivity on this model, which of course is its main selling point, and we all know that, you have to have a phone which has the tethering function built right into it. Such as myself, I have a, um, an iPhone 4GS. Now, if you have a data plan, that's not enough in and of itself in order to use the Wi-Fi functions on a unit, and Bluetooth has nothing to do with it. Bluetooth is okay for your apps and all that stuff, but still, if you're using an app, say like your, um, 
uh, your iHeartRadio, right? You want to hear some music through your iHeartRadio account. Now, you're getting the data from your phone, from, from that app, you know, from whoever your carrier is, Verizon, AT&T, whoever. Now, all that, all those megabytes are coming off of your data plan. So if you have some lousy data plan where you have like only like 20 megabytes a month and you're listening to 30 just on that one app, you're liable to pay for the additional 10 as an upcharge from your service. Now, aside from that, you also need to have the tethering feature, which basically means that you turn your phone into a wireless router to trans, you know, it's like a hotspot. You're making your phone a hotspot. So you could transfer all your signal of your, of your Wi-Fi to all your other Wi-Fi enabled devices, such as this unit right here. So make sure you do some good research and find out if and what the story is with making the Wi-Fi tether connection on your phone a reality before you make the plunge in doing this thing. Otherwise, you might be, you know, in for something you may not like to get involved in in the first place. So know that in advance. Um, you know, in all reality, you probably won't care. It's cheap and you'll, you'll get it. But, you know, I try to be honest and be, you know, upfront with folks and tell you like it is. Just know that in advance, and I just want people to know what they're in for before the time comes. That's all. All right, so moving on, the uh, 770 HD here, it features InstaSearch and InstaRoute, which will get you started on your journey fast and save you time looking for locations. What it has is predictive text so you can save time typing your destination while the built-in trademark guidance from Garmin, because this is Garmin software on these units and Navtech um, drivers, um, ensures your routes are accurate and easy to follow, which is very cool. And of course, Garmin sells itself. No brainer there. Uh, Kenwood and Garmin, they've, I mean, they got a good thing going on. And, and you can only get Garmin and Navtech GPS on a Kenwood car stereo receiver. Another, another point. Can't find it anywhere else. Can't shop for something that doesn't exist. Um, now, when you connect it to the internet, you also get real-time updates on traffic, weather, fuel prices, parking information, more from these people at Inrix. When you're not connected, you'll still receive traffic updates from Navtech through your standard antenna in metropolitan areas like, you know, big cities and all that. Um, but, man, when you're connected through that Wi-Fi, man, you can see cameras, pictures, traffic. I mean, crazy shit. It's insane. I, I've seen it. It's wild. It's, it's, I, I can't even believe it's, it's even happening, but it's happening. Um, you know, you can map a route of your next journey through the secure website on Kenwood D Direct, and I would suggest that you definitely do take advantage of getting their um, Kenwood app because it, it, it really is robust and you need it for a lot of this media control. Um, you can save up to 10 custom routes for one trip. I mean, you can actually modify your routes um, like you can on a real paper map, import it and use it on, on your screen of your car GPS, which is crazy. Because as we all know, I mean, sometimes Garmin has his own, you know, s little ideas of what, how it wants to take you and sometimes you may not 100% agree with it. Well, now you have control of that, so that's really cool. Um, and these road trips can be even more fun now because if you connect it to the Wi-Fi, uh, using the Kenwood wireless link technology, you can share music videos, um, the whole bit on smartphones, laptops. They have a tablet mount for a, re a rear headrest for Kenwood's LZT700 7-inch screen, which is an option. Um, it's coming out, and your backseat passengers could use it to enjoy audio, video content from others in the car wirelessly through the car stereo receiver. Wow. It's multi-touchscreen lets you direct the console's functions like they would on a regular tablet or a smartphone. It's nuts. It's crazy. And this thing works with everything. iPhone 2 to the, to the, to the 5 model. Android, pretty much you name it, you got it. Blackberry, no problems. Um, I don't like Maestro, which I touched on for the, uh, the new Sync and GM OnStar. No problem about losing any of your favorite conveniences. Getting nav, better sound. It works sync seamlessly. So all your gauges, climate controls, distance sensors, tire pressure monitors, OnStar, all of that shit works. You connect systems for Chrysler's, it just goes on and on and on. Car steering wheel controls, seamlessly integrate, you just have to get the little adapter for it, no big deal. Um, another thing, the Kenwood server requires a subscription, and this is something you will not find on the internet, and that's where I'm useful, because I tell you all this stuff. Kenwood gives you the first two years for free in the box. After that, it's 60 bucks for two more years, so it basically breaks down to 30 bucks per year after the first two years, which are a gimme feature from Kenwood. Thanks, Kenwood. Third year, they beat you with that $30 bill per year to have the service, and I'm sure you're going to pay it anyway. 
Um, it's 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 something you just I can't imagine you could ever live without once you have this. Um, so aside from that, before I start getting hands on with this unit, a couple things. Um, 6.1 inch screen, 4 inches tall, built in amp, 22 RMS, 50 by 4, which of course is not a reality. Um, you know, 22 watts RMS, but that's a peak level maximum distortion reality. Um, this is going to best, perf best perform like any good high end unit with an external amplifier, but if you're not that guy, it'll still sound great. Um, built in Bluetooth, of course, no big deal. Uh, built in HD radio tuner, built in streaming audio apps for Orpio, YouTube, and your iHeartRadio. Access to your email, your calendar, web browser, Facebook, Twitter, RSS, all that crap that you use on your phone anyway. Text to speech and speaks to te speech to text for email, calendar, and social media updates. That's a whole nother video in itself, and I ain't even gonna go there. You got access to cloud-based media for a personal digital locker account. You can share your media wirelessly through compatible devices. You got an online trip planning tool and a trip log. Built-in Garmin with Insta Route and Insta Search, as I mentioned. You got maps which are built in for US, Canada, Puerto Rico, and 6 million points of interest, 6 million POIs. You got the Inrix traffic and the other updates when connected via Wi Fi, as I mentioned. Free lifetime Navtech traffic updates, free for lifetime. That's cool. You got lane guidance and junction view, exploded sign views with the mapping when you're going on, on the GPS, which of course is nothing really new, but it is cool. It's nice, it's something to see. Um, Kenwood actually has a very nice view um, on their website about how it works, how it looks, so you might want to give that a look if you're thinking about taking the plunge. And, um, I mean, audio video, I mean, what else can I tell you? Um, the EQ I'm going to definitely go into because that's my kind of thing. We have a 7-band parametric EQ, high and low-pass filters, which is just high-pass filters, low-pass filters, subsonic, you know, nothing crazy. Um, everything else, I think I'm pretty, uh, pretty well touched on everything. I really just think the next thing we have to do is just get into the menus and show you how this thing interacts with, with your actual hands. So let's go and do that. All right, so what we're looking at now, this here is one of the one of the few home screens. I mean, this thing is wild. First turn it on, you got your nav, disc, and your telephone right there. USB SD, iPod, which is not connected. There's your um, keypad for your phone, your mute or your standby button, and your HD radio. If you go this way, like you do on a tablet, Right here is your network history, so all your Wi-Fi enabled products like videos and stuff like that go right there. Over here we got the Orpio app, streaming video, iHeart Audio, there's all your other stuff. There's your live weather, there's your internet browser, again your phone, settings, texting, um, all your information, news, everything that's going on in the world right here at your fingertips, man. Crazy. I mean, it's insane. Um, very nice and nimble as far as, you know, when you touch it. Just be very careful that you don't hold it too long. Just real touch it, do what you got to do, and move along, you know. Because this, this unit here can be a little, little touchy. Or maybe it's just because it's new. I don't really know. But here's the stuff that I really talk about, like, most of the time, most of my videos. Because this is the stuff that nobody else ever wants to talk about. Um, but to me, I think it's the most important. All the gimmick features, I mean, I could show you that all day long, but you know what? I'm not here to sell you something. I don't really care if you buy it or not. It doesn't matter to me. Um, what my job is to educate you and tell you and share what my thoughts are and what the truth is and isn't with this unit. Um, Wi-Fi, this thing is a whole other video. Wi-Fi features, honestly, I'd really prefer to see you go to Kenwood's site and see the real deal with Wi-Fi because I know I've watched it. They have a 15-minute tutorial video of how this Wi-Fi works. All the stuff that it does, all the stuff that it doesn't do. Like here, I mean, there's a root, connect, root collector, which they're making custom routes on their home tablet using the Kenwood server, and they're, they're downloading it from the cloud when you have a Wi-Fi enabled unit like your Bluetooth phone or whatever in your car, and bringing it right down into your car. And every, everybody, of course, drives one of those cars, a Lamborghini Diablo. I'm sure you do. I know I do. I mean, I mean what's the point in driving anything else, right? There's your Garmin GPS. Look at that. Fuel prices, internet connection, find out all the information in the world you want to know about hotels and everything else in the world that's going around you. Crazy. Go to the, yeah, this guy's going to the yacht club in his Lamborghini or whatever the fuck that thing is. A Ferrari. Look, look at this shit. <laughs> that's cool, huh? Look at this dude. Unbelievable, not? He's in his car, he's got to get online. I mean, he's got shit to do, this guy, huh? Unbelievable. All right, let's get back to reality, man. Holy shit. Um, settings, settings, settings. I watch, you watch this stuff, it's it's funny, I tell you. Audio setups. 
that's this is really the main potatoes. It's a stereo, right? So we want to know about audio setups. All right, so back to reality. Um, I got a little excited there when I saw that Lamborghini and you know the yachts. I mean, it was like you know, always women. It's like you got to get this radio turned into a superstar overnight once you once you turn it on. Um, this unit here, um, it's very cool. I, I have to say this. It has some toys that I am envious about. I wish I did own my own car. I definitely can see the, the point of having a lot of this stuff. It, it's it's nice. It, re it really is. And I'll tell you, for an emerging new technology such as this Wi-Fi in a car, <laughs> built into the server of a, of a stereo, I give Kenwood a lot of credit for creating this whole cloud account, creating an app, creating all these several apps, all this connectivity and all this information. Um, I can only imagine what the future is going to hold and how much more insane this technology is going to be. So you know what? I just don't even know if I can even do a review that's thorough enough to, to spend all this time with you folks on this one receiver. There's just so much to go over. Uh, but I'll tell you something right now. I can't find a whole hell of a lot that I don't like about this unit. I am impressed, especially for the price point of this unit. This unit has a lot to offer. My advice to anybody who's out there looking and interested in getting something like this, spend your time. Don't just rely upon my own tutorials uh, or, or reviews as great as they are and then, you know as wonderful as I may be um, look at Kenwood's information look at you know other guys takes on it make sure you make a good educated you know purchase because there's a lot to cover here so for now that's my review on a DNN 770 HD I hope it was helpful to you guys until next time I'll see you